All right, I got the head out. So I was pretty happy about that. Look down in here and um, notice number two cylinder. Definitely got a coolant leak there. And I saw this back here and I thought, oh, that must be the leak because of the head gasket or whatever. So let's go take a look at the head. Let's see what's going on there. Notice, because I didn't at first, <laughs> um, this, this is the head gasket. It's still on the block. So um, is it? Yeah. Yeah, it's hard to tell. Yeah, see, there it is. That's the head gasket. So if there was a problem with the head gasket, it would be blown out in here. So let's take a look at the head. Oh yeah, there's that number two cylinder. Got this gunk on it and, oh crap. Yeah. Um, yeah. The, the head itself has corroded and like, I don't know if it's just corrosion or that it's bl actually blown out pieces here. And you can see where the cylinder seals right there. It's gone right by it. And then you take a look here. Here's some right here. Look at all this gunk in the coolant. Over here. Over there. You know, so look at, look at how close this came. It was barely still sealed. I was getting good compression. I was getting 180 PSI compression out of this cylinder. And it seemed to hold pretty good. We were so close to having it completely blow out here. And I just would have flooded this cylinder with coolant. Probably would have uh, hydro locked, seized up the engine while I was driving. Probably thrown a rod. I think mean, it would have destroyed the, the whole engine. I'm trying to put a positive spin on this because um, I really thought I was just going to pull this head. And. Um, take it to a machine shop, have them just lightly surface, clean it up, maybe take a look at the valve seats and see if they need to be reground. Now, it's a total loss. I, I don't, I, I mean, even if they could, I don't know if you can weld something in here, machine it back down. Even if you could, I mean, what's going on in these passageways that the coolant was... So, confession time, guys. Um, I change my oil religiously every 3,000 miles. I never flush my coolant. I just, it's just one of those things. I never remember to do it. And then years go by, literally, literally, years, and never, never change the coolant. Um, because you know, people drill it into your head to, uh, People drill it into your head to, um, to do your oil, right? But um, not a ton of people talk about the coolant. In fact, I just mentioned it to some people and um, they didn't even know. They were just like, oh, I gotta get the radiator flushed, what? So, uh, if anything, hopefully this is a lesson. Um, I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do with this truck now. I was going to fix her, get her back on the road, drive another 100,000 miles. Now I'm not sure. Do I just, do I replace the engine? Do I get a whole new engine? Do the clutch while I'm at it? Is it worth it? Can I find a head? Have it serviced and can I find a remanufactured re re head? I don't know. I gotta look, I gotta decide. I have no idea what it's, what the right answer is yet. Um, but this sucks. So, 
Listen, you guys, flush your coolant. Unless you want to end up with corroded heads like this. Ah. <sighs> Look at that gunk. <laughs> I knew something was going on, didn't know it was this bad. Let's take a look at the head gasket. <laughs> head gasket's like fine, right? Quality head gasket. That was not the problem. Look at this build up though. Look at, look at, that's horrible. I'm embarrassed. This is not how you treat a vehicle. Look at that. That's what's inside your engine when you don't flush the coolant. All right. So that was it for this time. And, uh, man. I was gonna post a video showing you how to uh, remove a bolt that broke this guy here out of the head. I thought that'd make a, a cool video, but this is scrap now. But hey, you know what? <laughs> if I decide not to scrap the truck, yeah, there's a broken bolt right here too. We can work on that. All right, guys, well, I'm going to decide what to do, and uh, in the meantime, why don't you uh, let me know in the comments what you think if I should save this truck or not. Um, 180,000 miles, 2002 Tacoma. The thing is, is it had the frame replaced, so the frame's only, uh, it's a few years old now. It's getting some, you can see down in there, it's getting some... Uh, surface rust on it but you know the, the frame was replaced and all the you know uh, brake lines and everything else Toyota did all that stuff so um, not everything on this truck is that old but um, she is getting there in years so what to do let me know let me know what you would do and keep in mind I have no money <laughs> I am poor all right, thanks guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.